up all of your favorite recipes Simply Food You should know by now that you're in for a treat Simply Food There's no other channel where you'd rather be Simply Food Seafood, pasta, cakes, and pies Sing and laugh and even cry Like, like and share and hit subscribe Simply Food by T.Y. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Simple Food by T.Y., and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make some Mongolian-style ground beef. You can do it with ground turkey if you would like. I'm sure it will be just as delicious. So let's jump right on into the recipe, honey, because we ain't got a lot of time to be playing around today. So we're going to start off by getting our vegetables nice and prepped. So what I have here is a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper, um, and I also have some scallions back there in the back. Um, now, as far as this goes, this will honestly depend on how much you want to make. Now, the one thing that I love about this recipe is that you can use this in so many different ways. You can have this Mongolian ground beef on top of rice. You can make it into lettuce wraps. You can actually take this and stuff it inside peppers. You could use it to stuff inside empanadas. I mean, you can use it in so many different ways. And I think that's kind of the reason why I love it so much. So if I were you, I would make a pretty large batch, which is kind of essentially what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be using roughly about, I would say almost about three and a half to maybe about four pounds of ground beef today. Um, because what I like to do is I end up freezing a lot of it because again, you know, you can use it in so many different ways. One day I might want to have it with pasta. One day I might want to have it with some rice. The next day I might want to stuff with peppers, empanadas, so forth and so forth. So the reason why I say all this to say when it comes to the vegetables in this, gauge it upon how much you're going to make. This is one of those recipes where you can kind of just do the measurements on your own. You don't really have to be too particular. I'm going to be using one whole green bell pepper and one whole red bell pepper. You can add more. You can add less. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to start to saute these down. I'm going to add a little bit of um, extra virgin olive oil to a hot cast iron skillet. And we're just going to add those in and start to kind of cook those up. Now, once again, um, you know, at this stage, you only want to add in a little bit of black pepper and also some um, kosher salt. Because we're making this Mongolian beef style, be mindful of how much salt you're adding because you're going to be adding in a lot of soy sauce and, you know, stuff like that later on. And as you know, that has a shit ton of sodium, okay? So we've just added in our ground beef. Now we're going to add in some ginger. Once again, this isn't something where you have to be as particular about the measurement amounts. I'm adding in roughly about a tablespoon of both the ginger and the uh, garlic. I'm using the squeezed ginger and the squeezed garlic. You guys know if I'm going to use the squeezed garlic, it is going to be the organic ones. I don't mind using squeezed garlic. It's I don't like using the minced garlic you know that minced garlic that kind of comes in the jars i don't know why i don't like using it for some reason i just feel like it has a weird aftertaste but i don't mind using the squeezed garlic so you know hey um so now we're just going to give this a little mix around just to get you know that garlic and that ginger really infused through you guys know by adding in the garlic it's really going to give in that asian flair um, so now I'm going to add in a nice tablespoon of the Better Than Bouillon beef base. Now, one thing I want to talk about is, as you guys can see, there's a lot of liquid in this. That is not fat, you guys. It is water. Oftentimes, you guys are draining off all of the, um, the water and you're mistaking it for fat, and that's not what it is. Most of the time, that's nothing but a bunch of water. You guys have got to start letting your ground beef properly cook. Wait until you hear that sizzling, crackling sound in the bottom of the pan, and that means that the ground beef is finally cooking. Ground beef contains a lot of water, so you really want to wait until all of that water evaporates, and then it'll start frying up, and then you'll realize... A lot of the times, you guys, that liquid you were pouring off really wasn't oil. It was actually just water. And, you know, and that also will help you guys not end up with gray ground beef. Like, oftentimes people stop cooking the ground beef once it turns this, like, grayish color. And that's not what it should be. It should be a nice 
deep brown color. You can even make it darker, but it definitely should not be gray. Okay, so just, you know, keep keep that in mind <laughs> when you guys are preparing your food. And as you can see here, you know, all that liquid's gone. The, and there's barely any excess fat in it, as you can see. So, you know, that's what you want to do. Now, I'm going to be adding in some um, low-sodium soy sauce. Um, again, you can kind of gauge this on your taste buds. But I'm adding in, um, I would say, anywhere between two to three tablespoons. You can always add in more later on. I'm also going to be adding in some Gucci John, which is some Korean chili paste. Uh, this is just my take on Mongolian style. I added in about um, about a half a tablespoon of the Gucci John, just to give it a little bit of kick. The dark soy sauce will add a nice bit of sweetness to it. And I'm going to add in about a half a tablespoon of the dark soy sauce. Uh, we're also going to add in some oyster flavor sauce as well. Um, once again, that'll add just a tinge of sweetness to it because there is a lot of salt because of the salt from the kosher salt and also from both of those soy sauces that we've used. I've just added in about a tablespoon. I'm adding in some sesame seeds. Um, that's optional, of course. And we're just going to give it a mix. Honestly, you guys, there's not really that much else that you really have to add to this. The best thing about this is, is that you can taste your ground beef and see what else you would like to add in it. If you would like to add some more soy sauce, by all means, you can add more. If you would like yours a little bit sweeter, you could also add in a few pinches of brown sugar. You could also add in a little bit of hoisin sauce. But this is it. There's nothing else that you have to do to it it's just that simple and like i said it's bomb inside lettuce wraps it, i mean it's so multi-purpose but i'm telling you it's everything look if you are new to my channel welcome to simple food by ty if you're one of my returning subscribers y'all babies know i love y'all so much and as always y'all babies stay cute and take care i'll talk to y'all soon i'm oh my god just i honestly need to go make me a bowl right now because it's just that simple Slaying in the kitchen. Simply food by T.Y. We hope that you enjoyed it. Simply food by T.Y. If you haven't took the time, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Simply Food by T.Y.